Next, we're going to move on to the chest. Um, this one is really good if they've got any coughs or colds um, and are a bit mucusy. It can really help to disperse mucus. Um, so what we're going to do is just gently place, again, make sure you apply some more oil if your hands feel a little bit dry, um, just to make sure you've got that nice sort of smooth skin surface to work with. And you're just going to place your fingers over the top of the, the chest and just stretch right the way out to the armpits. And again, start in the centre and stretch to the armpits. And this can really help with their lung function as well. And just a few times and however long that they'll sort of tolerate it for. Stomach moves. So the next part we're going to move on to is the stomach and there are three main moves for the stomach. These are all really good to help with things like colic, constipation, trapped wind um, and reflux as well. Um, they can really aid digestion. Um, these moves we would suggest not doing within 45 minutes of a feed um, just because obviously if you start to massage that area it could make them sick. Um, so again make sure you apply plenty of oil onto your hands and the first move we're going to do is called scooping sand. So what you're going to do is place one hand at the top of the chest. Make sure that the nappy area, um, the nappy has been moved down slightly. Um, maybe just undo it a little bit so that you're getting the most benefit. And you're going to stroke all the way down the body. And as you get sort of near the bottom of the stomach, you're going to turn your hand onto one side, place the other hand at the top, and you're going to make it sort of a continuous movement, so it's this sort of scooping action. And this one's really good for things like reflux and trapped wind. It's probably a good idea to try this prior to a feed um, because it can help to disperse any, any bubbles and any trapped wind that might be there um, to help them to, to feed a bit better. Some babies also don't like this move very much because if they are a little bit unsettled and they're a little bit windy, it might be a bit uncomfortable. So if they, they show signs of discomfort, then obviously stop and try it again another time. So the next move is called the rugby ball. So if you think of the stomach like the shape of a rugby ball, so starting sort of at the sides and coming right the way out to the sides, what you're going to do is place your fingers, two fingers slightly left of centre, and you're going to massage using a, going clockwise, using two fingers, massage all the way out to the side, and all the way in. Again with this one, make sure the nappy is down a little bit because it will help to get sort of deep into those that stomach area. And what you're doing is tracing the digestive tract. And this one can be good to do as well before a feed. Very occasionally what can happen is your baby's stomach might look quite hard before you start doing this and then you notice that it actually visibly looks looser and a little bit more, more um, sort of almost jelly-like once you've done it a few times because you've helped to disperse any trapped wind. And again, do this as, as much as they'll sort of tolerate it and appear to be enjoying it. So the next move for the stomach is we're gonna stroke down both of the legs and you're just gonna again, give them a little bit of a cue. You're just gonna lift their bottom off the ground a couple of times and then you're going to bend their knees into the stomach and you're going to rock gently from side to side. Again, about sort of 10 to 15 times. This one's really good for their back as well. It's a nice back massage. So sort of keep supporting their hips and then straighten the legs out 
give them a little bit of a shake and you can repeat it again.